Hi, Stuart Bunn here, and in this video we're going to look at joining up all of the five minor pentatonic shapes. Hopefully you've seen the five previous videos where we were looking at pairs of pentatonics and worked through those exercises. If you have done all that, then this might not be too difficult for you. It's obviously very good for us to be able to play the whole of the fretboard rather than just staying inside individual boxes. So this is what we're ultimately looking for. I'll put my A backing. A minor pentatonic. Shape one. Shape two. Shape three. Shape four. Shape five. Shape one. Go back down. Shape five. So that is the task. We just want to, without rushing it, just constantly be re-visualizing the next shape. So just do what I did there. Play something in shape one. Visualize the next one before you move. Don't move and then if you make a mistake, use your ear to correct. Try to see it. That is one of the best things about the guitar is the geometry that we have. So I'm visualizing my next shape. So I might slide from there to there. My idea here. Play a little bit. Maybe I'll visualize shape three here and slide my first finger. Again, at some point soon, visualize the next one. I can see my next note is there and a couple there as well. So maybe I'll go. Um, it's worth mentioning. We really want to try to, to join these together musically. So rather than going and then try to go so one phrase straddling the two and then shape five, I'm visualizing it here while still in shape four and then again five into one. Do the same thing going backwards Try in various keys. This was A, but obviously being guitarists, we should probably force ourselves to not only play an A and E, let's do the awkward keys or the unfamiliar keys, E flat, A flat, F sharp. So that is your task, get in your practice regime, try at different tempos, different styles, uh, use band in a box or whatever application you have, change the time signatures, change the grooves, whatever you can do to sort of broaden your musical horizons. I hope you found the video helpful. Please give it a like and subscribe and feel free to share. See you in the next video.